Hi, this is Danielle Zana. Basically, well, at the moment I'm feeling rather frustrated, pissed off, and annoyed. Um, trying to not get this emotion and to anger. Um, well, first of all, um, oh, this is why I'm not even having my face on camera because I am just so. Um, peed off about things. Um, okay, first of all, Fukushima has uh, had, had another incident um, with some um, plutonium leaking out into the pools, and more radiation is kind of like going out. Apparently, um, some people are saying the information is a bit of misinformation. Me, I don't know. I'm just looking for more sources and evidence. Um, which actually would actually exponentially increase the amount of radiation that um, uh, would be spewed out. And the estimation, which originally was that we all got 30 years left to live, had been decreased to the estimate of 25 years. Now, with this incident, um, the estimation is around about plus minus um, 10 years uh, estimate. I can't even give a, a, a decent rough estimate. This is very, very crude rough estimate. Um, because the reason being is this information that kind of got out, uh, some people debating whether it's true or not um uh if there's like a clamp down on it and um some people saying it's a hoax some people saying it's genuine some people are eyewitnesses and so on and so forth so so nothing is really clear at the moment um but um now, which actually boils down to concern with my protest against the anti-extraterrestrial agenda. Uh, knowing that um, extraterrestrials are our only hope of help with the intervention in regards to this Fukushima uh, fallout stuff. And, um, you know... Just having that, it, reading or discovering that recent event, what's happened at Fukushima, um, I got a comment uh, uh, on one of my on the websites I'm on with my comments or videos against which protest against the um, anti extraterrestrial agenda and fascism predominantly uh, regurgitated by um, the allies of humanity, um, in a sense. Well, um, as I mentioned with my three main arguments, that extraterrestrials won't or have no need of any logic called reason to exploit the resources of this planet is because of the technology. That is, number one, they're having to still a tr space travel, and one of the subcomponents of the UFO engine can create a zero point free energy generator. What are the reasons why extraterrestrials would want to come here for energy reasons? And the thing is, the sun, for example, is one of the most, um, the highest natural resource of producing energy, uh, which all life on this planet depends on it. And then number two, um, extraterrestrials create life. Now what would they want? to do and exploit with all living things when they're capable of creating life from scratch. 
And this technology is available on your planet, and some scientists have created um, unicellular organisms uh, from scratch. Um, and um, these extraterrestrials have advanced technology where they can be, be able to create multicellular organisms uh, from scratch or actually through a evolutionary system development life cycle of reuse uh, and alteration and modifications and um, it's and then lastly um, what how would they exploit and uh, use this planet uh, or give any reason um, when they are capable of replicating matter with um, matter sequences or matter replicators and this technology is currently in the, under development for the in the field of nanotechnology and the extraterrestrials also capable of creating um, um, objects uh, matter uh, from holograms um, because photons are the very known smallest bosons and um, <clears throat> to prove this um, uh, is why do electrons uh, release photons when um, they reach a higher orbital level uh, and they and they also absorb now the thing is like in regards to photosynthesis now seriously it's I am so annoyed about the amount of misinformation in regards to the extraterrestrials. And it's, I am so annoyed. Um, I'm actually going to read through my posts, uh, bits and pieces. Um, not, not really. Um... I don't know, I'm just so fucking annoyed, bloody annoyed, just so damn frustrated that, you know, especially when people say, oh, go and read this and this and this and this, go read and that and that and that, you know, and you go and you just see books that are for sale and all that bullshit. Now, seriously, if people were concerned and wanted to provide information that is 100% true, why the fuck do they market it? Seriously, why would they want to market it? Most of the stuff that, uh, that goes on the internet about extraterrestrials is all done in the aid of profit. Money, 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 bloody money. The exact thing that is the exact same thing that is actually messing up life as you know it money bloody 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 money literally and figuratively now i've also got the, the saying as um the universe does not fit in a book but the universe has many books and everyone who's written things is down to their own opinion and most people who claim to have seen extraterrestrials um, often, to be honest, uh, are just talking nonsense just in order to make money out of the possible existence of extraterrestrials. Myself, I've seen extraterrestrials, and people who are genuine tend to share the information of what they discovered and all that without having to make a money and a profit from. You know, you know, I'm just so annoyed uh, with these people that just somehow got the gift of the guy to write up a book and bloody sell it on the fucking market. People like that just fucking annoy me. They fucking piss me off. Because there's people like myself and others 
who have genuinely extraterrestrial experience know the fuck up of capitalism and share the information from our heart, from our love. We put a lot of work in what we do and you share and we do not make a profit out of our information. We just share from the heart and we say, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. That's it. Take it or leave it. And um, without publishing books and all fucking hell, just fucking hell, fucking mother, fucking. <sighs> I just have to rant there because I am just so fucking pissed off. And most of these people that publish this book always has a from a large bit to a small bit of anti-terrestrial agenda. Oh, you know, I don't know. Seriously, I don't know. I just want to fucking bang my head against the wall out of frustration because, I don't know, I don't even know why I'm here on this pathetic little planet around this stupid little fucking sun. You know, yes, yes, it's beautiful and everything with the fauna and flora, the plants and the nature and all of that. But seriously, the people sometimes fucking piss me off, fucking drive me mad. Ah, you know, it's especially when you're trying to get through to people that um, extraterrestrial intervention is the only solution that will work and is currently available because your fucking governments are doing fuck all with the fucking situation of the radiation damage and all that. Never mind the chemical pollution, but the fucking radiation pollution, as mentioned by one of my friends, would actually, you know, if you, if you believe in Darwinism, would fuck up. Uh, would life would have evolved seven times. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. I don't know, really. You know, sometimes some people, they just, they just, I don't know, they just piss me off. They, oh, really, I really need to get that out. Seriously. Because I put so much time and effort to create videos um, to, that moon looks a bit funny. That's right. It's all right when you do that. Um, to actually, um, I put so much time and effort to help promote awareness about this misinformation. And... I'll try and make it as simple as possible, but people still, I don't know, hold on to this anti-terrestrial shit. You know, I, I'm just wearing out, really. Um, you know, I just want to get into my heart and do something, and um, and all you get was like I'm like actually basically forced to try and make another video and I've got to try and think okay what do I do to actually make it more simpler um, so that people could understand and grasp the facts how do I do it I've done it and it was just proven unsuccessful as if people like to wear blinkers when it comes to the round of extraterrestrials they, they like to wear blinkers and believe only the information that they've read or purchased. I think it's a. I think it has to do probably with the the concept of purchasing. Um, I don't know that because you know when you buy something, you tend to treasure it. Um, because you put all your work and effort in your jobs and all that. And you go to the shop and you buy it, so therefore because you bought it, you seem to have more value in it. Meanwhile, it could be utter tripe and complete fiction. Claim to be, um, 
what do you call it, um, genuine truth. You know, I'm just so fucking annoyed about this shit, really. Especially, you know, before when there wasn't any nuclear crisis, um, I could actually just say, oh, you know, it's their own opinion, blah, blah, blah. But it's getting to the point now, you know, people need the help of extraterrestrials. You know, they're decent enough to actually create you and put you on this fucking planet in the first place. Uh, I, I, you know, actually, also as well, you know, I just wish somehow the, the extraterrestrials could just say, hello there, we, you know, we created you kind of thing. You know, instead of working just with specific people only. That, uh, that, that, that annoys me a bit, you know. Um, so, I don't know. I needed to have that run. I'm also a bit upset about my friend as well. Um, she's intersexed as well. Uh, she's a bit older than me. She's actually um, had some children, but she's having an incident. She's in a court case to view a child. And... To view a child, and just because she's intersexed, oh, it's such a fucking legal bullshit, bullcrap, policy crap. Oh, I just, I'm just so annoyed with these, just the way things work and function on this planet. It's so bureaucratically stupid, with no logical sense. Very little logical sense, and, you know... When you think about it, most of this planet's logic revolves around currency and fucking money. You know, you know, everyone's lives are basically manipulated because of money. You know, where's the freedom in that? Seriously. There's no freedom in it. Neurons nothing but commodities, and if you do not fit in the system, you you consider it you you've considered uh, non-functional, and uh, and then the abuse that follows through that, you know, with family, friends, and all that, you know, just because you just don't fit in, you know, it it's. It's awful. Um, yeah, I just uh, I don't know what else to say at the moment, but I'm just so fed up. It's like, what's the fucking point of making um, awareness videos um, uh, to pro ticket against this anti extraterrestrial agenda and all that? Allies of humanity being the biggest culprit. Uh, and then you also get the Ike Tards and all that. With their fucking reptile religion. Their fucking stupid. Um, what do you call it? It's just fucking people you're dealing with. Wake up, man. Just get a life and wake the fuck up. And stop blaming the extraterrestrials for shit. Well, they've just been in fucking space. You know? They've just been in space. <sighs> Really, I am just so pissed off. You know, I don't know. You know, I, I, I just, I'm just so annoyed with all this crap. Yeah, I just wish people just get along, love each other and stuff. I don't have any fuck about with this shit. You know, extraterrestrials become like a new um, scapegoat for blaming world leaders for their fucking crimes of humanity. You know, it fucking pisses me off. You know, you know, especially when I'm related to them and all that, and I love them very much. Even though they're a bit cheesed off for putting me here, but anyway. 
Um, but I love them. They're my family. And my friends. Man, I just hope they just take me away and take me away because living here is just bloody it's it's pain it, it's 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 pain <laughs> and all I would like to do or have is paint the last years knowing that with all this radiation tripe and if the extraterrestrials don't in choose not to intervene because I saw the hatred and misinformation that's going around about them they say alright we just leave this planet alone because they hate us they don't love us just let them fucking die in their own shit kind of thing and um, if that's the case all I would like to have is the, the last days are on this planet, you know, uh, do what I do with my art and all that. Because I just don't need more unnecessary trouble knowing that whether my rough estimate is accurate or not, that I just wish to have these last years of my life without being hassled by this bullshit bureaucratic system on this planet. And I just would have my life living happily, doing my art, enjoying every day as a day doing what I enjoy doing. Because, you know, I just, why should I have to suffer <laughs> when I've had enough suffering already in my life? And then knowing that I've only got so long to live, everyone has so long to live, that, uh, why should I be asked around by stupidity? <laughs> you know, I just, I just understand people. 